This past weekend, I hosted one of the most incredible events called uh, For the Love of Our Children Gala. And this, it was so... When I tell you... This is the ninth annual gala. It's a fundraiser for the National Cares Mentoring Movement. And it's a nonprofit organization which is run by the iconic and beautiful Susan Taylor, who, you know, Ms. Susan Taylor? And most of you know Susan Taylor as the longtime editor in chief of Essence Magazine. Remember her in the spirit, in the spirit? And her National Cares Mentoring Movement has secured over 100. 30,000 mentors in 58 cities across the country. So the gala was on this beautiful pier here in New York City, and they honored three dynamic women. Uh, I, they also honored uh, Courtney B. Vance, who was there. Uh, R&B crooner Kenny Lattimore performed. I love that Kenny, because that song, that song, he, I'm telling you, it's a lot of babies that were made to that. <laughs> Woo! When Kenny Lattimore performs. And my friend Bevy Smith was at the table with us in the house. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at all kinds of good. And, uh, and, and I felt so good. Like, I was in this blue sequin uh, dress <laughs> that... Uh, and I, you know, I don't like dressing up for these events, but Willie Sinclair III of the Milwaukee Sinclairs, he had me in the beautiful sequin gown, and my Emmy-nominated hairstylist and makeup artist, uh, Theo Barrett, had put me in this heavy wig, which, when, it, when I wear that straight, long hair, I can't turn my head. I have to keep <laughs> my neck very straight. And so, you know, sometimes when you're just feeling good, and I was like, yes, 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 Sherry Shepard is here. I felt great until the announcer went to announce me and bring me on stage. Take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, Shirley Shepard. Hey, Shirley. <laughs> if you was trying to get my phone number, that was a bus. <laughs> now, by the way, <laughs> you know, it's always just when you think you're somebody and you realize, nope, you're just Shirley. Okay. <laughs> And by the way, the gentleman who announced he came backstage, John, he was mortified. Yeah. And, I was, and I said to him, I said, for me, because I'm a comic, whatever, that's just all, you know. And I would not let you live it down. You were Shirley the rest of the night. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's all John called me was Shirley. I was like, OK, joke is over, John. And he kept going, Shirley. It's like a big brother who just wants to just poke you. Shirley, Shirley. <laughs> so, um, you know, and when I do these kind of events, now, don't y'all say it. I heard a couple of people going, sure, we love you, Shirley. <laughs> When I host these events, people call me to host events because they keep going, oh, Sherry, you're so funny, you're so funny. And I get, cr I get so, like, it, it's so much pressure on me. Uh, I feel like, oh, now I got to be funny. And so I get crazy uh, anxiety before I host the event. And John likes to call that side of my personality the Tasmanian devil, because I do. I just, and I, I get a little bit, you know, I get anxiety and crazy when I know the event is, needs to raise money, because I feel like it's a lot of pressure on me because we're trying to raise money for, for uh, the kids. And that's when you have to go, it's not about you, it's about what you're trying to do, you know? Um, <laughs> take it off for of you. But the problem was everybody kept going, girl, I'm so, ooh, I can't wait to laugh. I can't, and, that's, and, and every time somebody said, I can't wait to laugh and you so funny, I just was like, no, oh God, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. <laughs> But, it, you know, it's always hard to raise money at fundraisers, because sometimes people are very tight, you know, because it's so many things going on in the world. They're just like, I don't have the money. I can only give a little bit. But they had this financier named Reggie Cano, who was there to raise the money. He was like the auctioneer, kind of, but he was raising the money. And he's, here's one thing that he did uh, for anybody that hosts and is trying to raise money. I've never seen anybody do it before at a fundraiser. He said a prayer first before the fundraiser even started. Started. And I'm looking at him as he's praying, and I said, is that what you got to do? Like, <laughs> like, you pray before you get on. But he prayed with everybody, like everybody was in church. And he prayed that, that they would raise $200,000 in the prayer. Then he said amen, and he started going to work. And the first, thing I get, the first thing he said, he came out of prayer, he said, Sherry, you on the talk show. I know you got money. I said... <laughs> I looked at him and I said, I know, Jesus ain't said that to you. you... <laughs> but when I tell you, be, he said this prayer, and in 13 minutes, they raised uh, around $325,000. <laughs> Donated 
nominated, I was so inspired. I was so inspired seeing people jumping up to make, you know, the donations and to make these, you know, these pledges of money. $50,000 here, $75,000 here. It was, you know what, and it was, it was a lot of women who were making, the, who were doing it. Boy, when I tell you, I couldn't believe how many women were pledging. It's like stepping out on faith and pledging. I loved it. Hi, I'm Vert. I'm, I'm so-and-so from the Jack and Jill Foundation, and we're donating this. And I'm so-and-so from the Alpha, you know, the, 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 the Zeta Phi Betas. And I, I was like, whoa, oh, I loved it. So Susan Taylor, thank you for having me. It was an honor to host this event with you. I am so proud of the work that you're doing with the National Cares Mentoring Movement to help our young people. So thank you. Keep doing it, Susan Taylor. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have a good time.